here's an interesting factoid that I, I, I learned recently that I've added to my, uh, my story about Amazon. So again, I don't remember if we talked about it or not, but Amazon has been public company for 21 years. And in every year, including this year, it's had a double digit drawdown. The average is 31%. Average, five times more than 50%, twice more than 90%. Hmm. So very volatile. In fact, the volatility of Amazon is almost precisely the same, 81%, as the volatility of Bitcoin. Interestingly, the compound return at over 200% is almost precisely the same. Now, Amazon's 21 years, Bitcoin's 12 years, so Amazon's got a better track record. When was the r- right time to sell Amazon? That would be uh, never. Never. Yeah. Never, right? Never. Yeah. How many people bought it 21 years ago at the IPO and hold it today? There are four. Jeff, <laughs> his mom Jeff. and dad, and his ex-wife. That's it. Why didn't anybody hold it? Because it got shaken out. And, you know- Only I, good I, for I, books. Well, a bookstore? Come on. <laughs> I, don't know if you, did, I don't know if you coined the term diamond hands or somebody else, but I, I feel like- It wasn't me, but I like to use it. <laughs> all right. So this idea that, that we cans are real, right? People get shaken out because they focus obsessively on price. And you know, we, we just launched a product in, in December. It's called a risk-managed Bitcoin fund. And people say, what is that? And I go, look, we use techniques to mitigate volatility so that you pro- we're trying to protect you from yourself, right? Because all of us will react to volatility in, in a human way, the wrong way, but in a human way. Yeah. And the best thing you can do in investing is to find volatile assets early, lock them in a drawer, and don't look at them. In fact, one of my favorite stats, you know the best performing accounts at Fidelity are the I, abandoned, I are the abandoned, abandoned. and uh, deceased clients. The ones that nobody's ever touched. Nobody, and nobody ever touched them. So because people are prone to do something and there's this great agile, I have, I have hashtagged it, right? Don't just do something, sit there. The sitting is hard. And look, are we gonna have another bear market in Bitcoin? Yep, of course, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. No, no question. And it's cyclical. And is it around the halvings? Yes, but it's havings plus humans. Well, I like that, havings plus humans. Um, <laughs> just coin that. So I like that it, because humans are the ones that go from skepticism to optimism, to enthusiasm, to euphoria. And when you get to euphoria, people are, are piling in and price moves way up above fair value. And then- Blah, so fine. that happens. Yeah. And then we mean revert and then we go back and then the fear, okay, on the other side pushes things way below fair value. And that's when the next bull market starts. Sometime later this year, you know, we'll have that event and there will be a time, again, not to necessarily sell all your Bitcoin, but to think about one, do I want to hedge over the short term cyclical period? Maybe. Or do I need to do something to get it off my radar so I don't do something stupid? Right. Lock it away so tight that you can't, uh, that you have to think really hard, long and hard about selling it. 